Welcome back. My next guest is a comedian who has elevated anger to an art form. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Louis Black. <laughs> oh, Lewis, what's it been? Seven or eight months, something like that, since you and I were together? Yeah. I have, I have known you since you were an angry young man. <laughs> 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 and how are you coping these days? How, how are you doing? How are you holding, holding it together? I have a suggestion. Okay. Uh, this is the way I think that all Americans should approach these times. Um, we, everyone, no matter what side you're on at this point. Sure. Uh, Nobody's happy. No, but everybody's miserable. See, what you do is you, you know, everybody turns on the TV when they wake up. Don't! <laughs> hey! Because what happens is immediately you go, oh my God, we're all gonna die! <laughs> so what you do instead yeah, yeah. is you go to the stove and you turn on a burner. Yeah, yeah. And you put your head down. <laughs> And you light your hair on fire. And then you spend the day putting that fire out. And then people call and say, what'd you do today? And you said, my hair was on fire, and I put it out. <laughs> and at least you accomplished something that day. Because otherwise you're not. Your hair's on fire and you don't do anything. Did you, now I hesitate to ask, but did you catch any of uh, yesterday's excitement, the, the, the summit in Helsinki, the secret two hours we didn't get to see, and the post-summit press conference with Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. Did you, did you catch Yeah, that? because I'm on your show, so I had to watch it. <laughs> sorry, Liz. Sorry, Liz. <laughs> sorry, and, we, got, we got cameras and everything here. I'm I know. Yes. And, um, see, this is the thing. There should be a constitutional amendment that during the summer, unless it's really important, the president has to shut up. <laughs> Doesn't say anything to us unless there's something really major. Why? Because it's summer. Okay? That's our time. <laughs> Not his time. That's our time. Sure. This is the time for us to barbecue, eat lots of fatty foods. He eats fatty foods every day. <laughs> this is our time to just... Relax and have a good time, okay? I don't need to have him telling me that we got a problem with NATO, all right? Why? Because we don't have a problem with NATO! <laughs> I don't need him telling me that Russia's our best friend, okay? Why? Because they're not our best friend! <laughs> so I don't need this... CBS now. CBS. I know I was good, okay. didn't I? Stop! You stopped. I did stop. Yes. You're, 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 stop. Yes. Mommy, I stopped. No, let me ask you about this. I, I, you've got a T-shirt on yes. there, National Comedy Center. Yes. What is the National Comedy Center, and are you contractually obligated to wear their T-shirt on television? Yes, that's part. That's of... opening soon, and you're involved in that. What is that? It is a um, a center for comedy that has been built nationally. Nationally. Mm -hmm. It's in. Um, it's in, of all places, Jamestown, New York. Okay, sure. That known for... It's the ancestral home of Lucille Ball. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ancestral, meaning like she was born there? She was born there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was born there, and they, for a long time, had a festival for her. Mm -hmm. uh, about her. You know, there was the Lucille Ball Comedy Festival. I participated mm -hmm. in that. Numbers of comics did. Yep. And out of that arose the idea of creating a national comedy center, which I have... And that opens August 1st. Okay. I've been involved with it. My friend uh, Kelly Carlin, who is George Carlin's daughter, yeah. she really kind of kicked off the... It, it really got it moving in the right direction. She gave all of George Carlin's stuff uh, to the Comedy Center, and so it's all there now. So what, what can I... What can I, uh, I love comedy. I'm a student of comedy. What, what can I see there? What can I get there that I don't well, get? I'm going to give you this so you can go. Okay. okay? I stole National that. National Comedy Center. Okay, you wear that okay. wristband, and because okay. you're my friend, I'm going to only charge you five bucks. 
Now, wait, this isn't just, this got some, what is that? There's like a chip inside there's this a, right there. It's like a computer chip. So, what, this, this, is how, this is how you're tracking me? What is this? Yeah, that's the newest. Yeah. What, well, honest to God, what is that for? What does this it, do? When you enter the, the National Comedy Center, you come to a screen, the screen, they take, a, a picture is taken of you, and you put your, uh, that next to uh, this, yeah. this thing, whatever it is. I don't know. You're talking to somebody. The two of us, if there was a tech moment, if, we, if there was a tech show, you know how long that show would be on with the two of us? Eight seconds. So it, you, you somehow put it against it's scanned. The, you, it's, it's somehow scanned. read and scanned. And then, uh, and then uh, up comes like a whole bunch of comics names. Yeah. Like a hundred of them, and you pick the ones you like. You pick the comedy movies you like. Pick the comic TV shows you like. And then you enter the center. And then you go from place to place. And when you, when you arrive in a it place... It knows you're there? It, and it directs you to the right place? Yes. If I say I like Cosby, does it take me straight to jail? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm going I'm wow. to suggest that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rethink this choice is yes, what I would say. Really, no. So wow. it, it takes you around and it's... Uh, and it really does... I mean... You walk into a, one area is all of George's, uh, his, all these little papers that he did with just one line on them, and you can stand there. Like his front, notes, like, well, his like notes. how he would create his routine. Right, and you stand there and press a button, and wow. the, all the notes show Did you up. know him? Did you ever talk to George? Yes, I did. Um, he never, it was one of the great regrets of my life. I never had a chance to meet him. He was one of my heroes. Yeah, no, I got a chance to talk to him uh, on a couple of occasions, and it was extraordinary. He was just, he really did... Uh, you, and, they, and, and what's really amazing there is you really get a sense there of just how how much he put in the creation of a set. It was like a it was like a composer, as much and a, and a playwright and, and a, a truly an artist. Which is why I think that the Comedy Center is important because kind of like what we do is a craft. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> You know? Uh, oh, you guys just go to work and laugh all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and they've got a whole section. There's a place where you can go to see all of the kind of uh, late night shows that have been done from the very beginning really? on. Uh, is the show in there? Yes. Really? Yep. And I and no one, no one, no one asked me. Well, no one, uh, they don't have to. They just come and grab your stuff and throw it up there. That's the uh -huh. way it is. Because CBS said, "Hey, <laughs> screw him. Put him out there." <laughs> And I'm, ha and I'm honored. So and I'm right. honored. Well, the National Comedy Center opens August 1st, and you can catch Lewis on tour in New Orleans on September 15th. Lewis Black, everybody. We'll be right back.